Well, the Cleveland Orchestra for me is a, is a symbol of fantastic orchestra music, fantastic orchestra playing. I grew up with uh, hearing this orchestra over the radio when I was a student in Sweden. That was the American orchestra I admired most when I heard recordings played over the radio. And we had just a small, small uh, Telefunken box, about this big, with a, with, a, with a dial that you could put back and forth, and you could hear and suddenly you heard some wonderful music. And sometimes I heard this, this Cleveland Orchestra, Cleveland Orchestra, oh! Uh, another time I put the dial and I heard, you heard the Sächsische Staatskapelle in Dresden under the, well, directed by Karl Böhm and the Mozart variations by Max Reger. Oh, the, I was thrilled with those kinds of sounds. And later I heard the, the, the Dvorak Slavonic dances, the Cleveland Orchestra directed by George Sell. Oh, that made you know, some ideal pictures for me of here. This is what it can be. Uh, it's very important for, for young people to get models like that. Uh, I remember once on tour in Japan, we had played in a new concert hall, and I went to my hotel afterwards, and when I stand in the lift and wanted to go up in the lift, there was a young Japanese boy running after me, he had been running all the way from the concert hall. And he was, you know, out of breath. <laughs> and he wanted to say something. And what did he say? He said, well, all my life until now, I was just interested in rock music. I was fascinated by that. And it was wonderful. It completely filled my, my, my person. But this was completely different. He heard a symphony orchestra for the first time. And he said, this is the expression of the whole soul, he said. And that was not what he had heard in, in the other kind of music had, he was so interested in. It. That was this whole soul came through in the playing of the, of the orchestra. That's a great orchestra where you can do. The Cleveland Orchestra can show that. It's a m music filled with, with, with spirit, not only profession, not dazzling virtuosity only, but it carries a message, a message from heart to heart. Uh, an artist has to have lots of self-confidence in order to, to produce some music. He cannot go on stage and think, will I make it? Will I make it? How shall I do it tonight? Uh, he has to have lots of, of, of self-confidence. But the moment it goes too far that he thinks, I can make no mistakes. Uh, I'll show you that I am the best. Then uh, he cannot develop any further. He has locked some doors. And I feel that Cleveland Orchestra has not locked any of those doors. They know they are praised all over the world as one of the top orchestras in the world, perhaps even the best, if there is such a thing. Of course, music is no Olympics, so, so we never take such a, a label seriously. But we know that we have a, a high quality, but we also know that can be still better. Uh, so as long as we have this longing for, for improving, pushing the boundaries still further away from us, I think uh, we, uh, there's no limit to how far we can go. The Cleveland Orchestra certainly has gone very far, and uh, when I come to conduct it, I feel that there is a, this is a powerhouse. Uh, not only hundred virtues of musicians, but the spirit is there that wants to unite these hundred people into uh, something that is bigger than the sum of hundred musicians. Um, it's, I think this is one of the reasons why it's, you attract so many guests and attract so much public, because uh, public is an intelligent group of people. Uh, they know, and when they hear something superb, they, they, they know how to, to, to appreciate it. Um, orchestras have no uh, easy time today. 
in the time of, of uh, economies that are, are falling apart. Um, but I think with superb music making like that, that we have with the Chloe Cleveland Orchestra, that is the strongest case you can build for, for classical music. Um, the reputation of the orchestra in Europe, where I reside, is very great. And we always look forward to the Cleveland Orchestra's visits in Europe. But of course, their home base is right here. And if the home base is not supporting them enough, the reputation not only of the orchestra, but of the whole city is in danger. This is what Cleveland is known for in the rest of the world. It has wonderful art, has wonderful hospitals, I know, wonderful people. But the label that you see everywhere is the Cleveland Orchestra. I congratulate the orchestra on this uh, wonderful standing and wish you a wonderful uh, future. Keep that kind of spirit you have a pride that is paired with the humility. Uh, only like that way you can, uh, you can uh, have a, a, a future as bright as you wish.